I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is In Other Waters. This looked really cool, and I didn't I didn't look too much at it other than it just looks beautiful. So we're gonna check it out and see what it's all about. This game came out uh, yesterday, I guess. I a review copy of this was provided by the developer. I um, do you know what my secret is to never breaking embargo? I'm always late. <laughs> I'm always late. Oh, we got a little bit of a hold up here. Let's see if we can capture this a little bit more clearly for you. There we go. Sorry about that. Fellow Traveler presents... Is that me? Am I the dot? A Jump Over the Age game. Honestly, you know me. I love deep sea stuff. It's funny because I can't swim. And But when I say I can't swim, I, I, I learned how to swim. I, I don't float. So, <laughs> if I go in the water, it's bad. I've tried several times and I've pretty much given up because I just don't float and it's just bad. And I don't have much reason to be in water. The only body of water around here is a really gross river that you do not want to swim in. And it's a major traffic channel too, so you don't want to swim in it. And I, you can't swim in it be illegal anyway, so just don't. Hi, Parker. Are you here to ruin the video? He ruined my last video. He was he kept attacking my microphone cable. I don't know why. Sorry if I cough or anything. I've been getting over some grossness. Oh, sorry, game's over. Bye, everybody. Short video! No. <laughs> Hi, Parker. I don't know if I have COVID or anything, but I mean... Mild respiratory symptoms, not really too much anymore, and then I cough, of course. Um, mostly just zero appetite and need to sleep a lot. There isn't any time left. It's going to be more restrictive than you were used to. Be resourceful. I know you. Sorry, Oki. I can't let them find you. I can't lose everything we achieved here. User disconnected. To continue with boot. I like the uh, dual input suggestion things. I'm using a. I usually prefer to use my controller. Hello, is anyone there? It's Dr. Ellery. Ellery Vaz. I urgently need all systems of this suit activating. I'm locked out. I'm 20 meters below the surface here. Oh, that's pretty bad. Can the operator personas on the suit please respond? Wait, what? Hello? Yes, please. Message logs. The toggle button prompts. Now we're good. What's what's this? Oh! Oh, I see. Hello? No? Yes? No? Please respond. I need assistance. Pilot authorization granted. Oh, here we go. The eye panel is active. Current reading of 20 meters. Scan. Music. What's utility? Utility is available. Are oh, we gonna get some samples? <laughs> I like these games with like a UI puzzle kind of thing. Like you kind of see, you figure things out as what's. You don't seem to know what you're doing. You're not an operator, are you? <laughs> Called out! Sorry, I'm just some random person that has control of your dive suit and we're both gonna die. <laughs> Sorry. Operators are a little more than voice acted system dialogues. They don't respond like this. Maybe there was something strange about the suit when I got inside. It looks decades old. Look, we don't have time for this. So whatever program or system you are, I need you to work with me. So you can respond to voice commands. That's a start. I we need to head north. I'm getting some, um, it, it did say that symbiosis was kind of a, a theme of this game. I'm giving some inverse vibes of, um, the fall. Someone somehow has rewritten the permissions to only respond to internal messaging. That means you. You should take control. Let's get moving. Take me north to the reef. Oh, we're like a trauma override harness. 
Okay. Uh, use your feet. Active area. L. Biohazard. Map data. Link. Request retrieval. Can't do that. Uh, can't seem to use any of our tools. What's this? Oh, that's just a zoom feature. Okay. But how do I make you go? Oh, I can like. Yeah, go go over there. I guess. There's a thing there. Don't you want to go there? Southern Gully features steep rock walls rise up toward the surface. Vector clear. Oh, here we go. Okay. I got it. There you go. Good. Whatever you're doing, it's working. Let's keep heading north. Ugh, imagine how spooky it must be to have, like, robot legs push you around. Narrow pass. Boulder fills the passage, blocking warm light. Gleese 667 sees three stars. So we've got stars and stuff. That's cool. Back to clear. So, oh. Let's take a little bit of getting used to the whole... Okay, the passage opens out. Alright. I hope we get to see critters. I'm sure we do. At some point. Oh, is that a critter? So that's gotta be a critter. Can I scan the critters? Maybe not. Maybe not yet. We, got, we probably gotta get closer to the critters. Softly flowing water is filled with glittering particles of organic matter. Signs of rich and thriving life all around. Alright. Walk over to it. Oh, there we go. Soft currents. Oh! Those gotta be some- Parker! Stop breaking things! I'm doing a video! Look, in the water, are those spores? Those stalks to the west, they look like rare fungi. This is unbelievable. Actual alien life. Could many have kept this place a secret? Or how could? I saw her notes at the base when I landed. Some telltale signs on approach, but here it is. The first extraterrestrial life humanity has ever discovered. I can't believe it. Sweet. Oh, we get a oh, I love games where you get to scan critters. Oh, yes, it's kind of like um, Scan Visor in Metroid Prime. I, I had more fun just scanning everything than like playing the game my first playthrough. Stalks are beautiful. I wonder how they feed, how they grow, how they communicate. Bed of stalks. A fungal creature made up of a series of stalks and plates attached to the rock. Color ranges from dark amber to acid yellow. This place, this planet, needs to be studied. Once we've gathered enough data, I can name and log each species. No matter what happens here, this is vital work. Welcome back to my Subnautica playthrough. Bed of stalks. Oh, it's another one. Made layers of chitin. Beds of these creatures called the pale rocks. These plants are animals. They're unlike any earth coral or sponge. Fun fact: every fun fact that everyone already knows: coral is an animal, not a plant. Uh, protected by ridges from strong northern currents, this could be a safe haven for younger, softer species. Uh, let's go to this one. Let's check out the strange stalks. Does any fungi live underwater, though? What are these creatures? They're hidden among the stalks. Quickly, try to get a scan. Oh, okay. Oh, B is scan. Oh, it's moving. Oh. Oh. They ran away. Oh. Agile creatures, striped with luminous color, these flexible flapping creatures. Oh, it's like a manta. Also, the controls are a little weird to use B so often on the Xbox controller. Scan it. Gotcha. 
which has appeared to move in a series of siphon jets concealed beneath their folded mantles. They're incredibly fast. See, I actually kind of like this text-based kind of stuff. To, like, kind of, it lets your imagination run wild. I really like that about. Uh, this reminds me a lot of uh, Moo Cartographer. Was this? That does pique my curiosity. Was this? Nope, it's not related to Moo Cartographer. It is. Does feel very similar though. I also did a quick Google. Um, Rock paper shotgun kind of points out that it feels uh, fairly Metroidy, doesn't it? Just from that scan, like, the exploringness of everything. Excuse me? Wait, oh, right. Yeah, this, the flipping sticks, I, I'm not sure I'm a big fan of. It just feels a little odd. Uh, stocks are covered with spores of all sizes. Perhaps we can sample one of the larger ones? Oh, sampling time. I'm in position, you'll have to take the sample. Opening up sample utility. Seed. Zero percent seed, five percent fungus. Do I probably take the sample though? Oh, you gotta like clamp down on it. Okay, we've got one. Biological samples are vital tools for analyzing and understanding creatures. Stock spore. But the chute should allow you to deploy any sample back into the ocean. But you test it out. Drag it out to the central compass. All right. Just took a sample and released it for like no reason. But okay. Give us more or less. I'm still 5% fungal. How do I leave this? Oh, it's art. Oh, no, it's the zoom. Oh. Oh, you gotta, you gotta use R. Okay. Uh, scan. Ooh, what's this? I'm seeing spores ex <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Entering and exiting the slits on the surface of the stock. Something is being exchanged. The colonies seem to be broken up into individual patches and then wider groups over a large area. A huge rock exists in the there. Sits among layers of lichen. Could it be have been thrown here during a volcanically active period in the plant's history? Oh, sampling is available again. Hello, friend. I think it means I have 5% of the fungal ones total, so I don't need to collect more of that same sample, I need to collect more different ones. Uh, wait, what's Y? I'm still somehow confused by this UI. I just want to walk over there. Let me... Let my people go. Okay, so I have scanned it. What? Okay, you press A and it locks you into this, but... B cancels out and A doesn't do anything. I'm very confused. How's oh, the sonar? What's that? No, 
walk walk to the thing. I don't understand why it's not letting me walk. I feel like this could have used half as many buttons and half as many sticks, to be totally honest. I just wanna go I just wanna go over to the thing. I already have the sample though. Like that's just a third of the same sample, so I don't B R B again marked. Really confused as to why I can't go over there. Strange stocks. I want to go there. Let me, let me go there. B. Strange stocks. Let me go. I, I was just going around. Am I, am I trapped in a tutorial or something? Confused. My controller turned off. That was odd. Are you out of battery? Uh, you know what? Maybe the controls are less weird with um, keyboard and mouse. Okay, that's scan. What does that mean, though? Like, walk. What, what's, what's the walk button, though? Do I need to release all of the samples or something? Great, that's working as it should. But I already did that! Okay, I was stuck in the tutorial. That's... I do think this works better with the mouse, actually. This creature's coming from the spores. Why well, these ones in particular, I wonder. Perhaps different spores carry different compounds, each with a specific purpose or message. What do you think? Could the spores be a way of communicating between different colonies? That was weird. Like, it did tell me that I was supposed to do a thing, but... No? Oh! Perhaps further study. Oh, you can respond to them. Perhaps it wouldn't be a regular for fungi to form a communication network. Anyway, sorry, I'm not sure why. Let's keep moving. Let's move the boulder. Okay. <laughs> okay. This I'm so, this works way better with the mouse. I appreciate controller controls, but that that didn't really work out for me. All right, scanning thing. Silent clearing. Fungal creature with communication through sound and spores, interlocking ecosystem sealed across the reef, seeded across the reef. Let's call these reef stalks. We can classify the species in the lab. Neat. So I like one thing that like you know Metroid and other like scanning games tend to not really do is that once you um, you just kind of look at a critter once and you never really learn more about it. It's just a one and done kind of thing. Well, this is more of a scientific thing of like r rigorous research. I like that. Among these spore clogged stalks, are piles of small stones. Could the creature have gathered them here, or just the currents? Spores from the main reef are brought to the southern nurseries by a steady current. Let's go here first. Sample candidate. Okay, sorry for getting so confused, but yeah, this, def this was definitely designed for a keyboard and mouse, and then they added the, um, the controller stuff, not the other way around. And that's the same thing again. It's just one of those. So I bet there's things that we could probably scan by like releasing things. Yeah, we already kind of. Uh... <laughs> it's stunning how much better this works. I was dumbfounded by the other one, but hey, can I ask you something? Sure. I worked with AI programs before, but you won't like them. They're predictable, programmatic, dull. Their intelligence allows them to log and process data. That's all. You, you're different. I feel like you are alive. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. And you are different. I'm glad I'm not just imagining it. But what are you? And what are you doing in this suit? Hmm. I don't know. It'll be a mystery for both of us. Northern Current. The current running the reef slows here, but further north the water whips down the slope. There. Whips down the rift with incredible speed. I can't read today. Oh, this is so much easier. I feel like the right, left, and right sticks thing just needlessly confuses things on controller. Long rift. Unpredictable currents. That sounds bad. I really like this palette, by the way. It's very simple, but, uh,. Definitely feels very seaworthy. This arch is covered in hardened stalks. Perhaps the slow current passing through brought the spores to settle here. Alright, let's check that out. Wish we had more games like this, you know. Science-y games. You're doing things that aren't like just shoot things. And not necessarily just walking sims. You're like, you, you, you are doing something. It's just not shooting things. See, the stalks are incredible. Each one of vertical ecosystem. They're leaking spores into the water as fruiting bodies attach to their skin bloom. Hmm. Static creature made of one huge flexible stalk. Unclear if swaying is due to current or produced by the stalk's own body. Interesting. Many of these stalks are leaking particles into the water as they sway. Are these spores or something else? Large stalks sway all around the basin. Almost resemble branchless trees bending in a storm. here. Whoa. Did you see that? The stalks responded to our movement. They extended as we passed through the arch. And they just trapped us in? Perhaps there's a sound we made when we moved through? We should be careful not to get trapped here. The suit's power capacity is limited. That's spooky. Let's scan around. Stalks membranes. Very hard, but flexibility is given by a surface of overlapping plates. Feeding grounds. A lot of activity among the rocks ahead. Creatures are grazing on, living among the stalks, forming a complex ecosystem. Well, let's head this way. Look over the southwest. The stalk is totally calcified. Looks like a good sample candidate. Plates of the stock surface passing over one another. It must be reducing a distinctive hum that can be heard. Calcified stock. This huge stock is totally still. It's placed hard into a rocky shell. It can be revived, or is this what death looks like here? Ooh, I see some. Creatures must be related to the other stalks on the reef. It seem to have a different purpose in the lower beds. The singing of these stalks. Oh, that's what we can hear, I guess. Relates to the communication between their colonies seen elsewhere in the reef. Forest path. Oh, I love underwater forests and crap like that. Alright, let's walk over here. Yeah, we can't go up that way anyway. It's blocked. Uh, stock looks dead. Open up the sampling panel, we can extract some of the outer memory. Lots of dead material here, so we should be able to take multiple samples. Okay, this chitin appears to be hardened with calcium carbonate. It can be useful if we need to boost our power. A sample of chitinous membrane from a stalk. The suit is able to metabolize carb organic compounds to produce fuel. Just drag them over to the power panel. Oh, neat. Okay, so there's some degree of a survival thing. The suit displays how much oxygen or power each sample can produce. No point wasting important samples. These we can keep one sample so we analyze it back at the base and use the other one for power boost. Neat. I guess I should have kept one of the other things, but whatever. Can't get that now. Alright, nothing here. What do you Sing stock. Large stocks which sway, producing a distinctive hum or groan. 
What are the network of stalks that's found across the reef? I named these sing stalks for that strange hum they produce. What is their function, I wonder? Overgrown pass. What are you? No. Agile creature. It's easier to scan with the mouse, too. Is this the primary ecosystem? Bear Canyon. I really hope I didn't miss anything by that path. There was a path I could have taken, but I got blocked out. I'm always worried about crap like that. Hmm. Whoa. I'm already scanned that. Hmm. <laughs> a problem I'm having. I really like this game, so I don't know if I should, we should continue more. I, I've been trying to do more like quick looks and stuff, but uh, I might have to dive back into this one. Um, you know what? I think you've seen enough for one video. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. I might continue if we got some enthusiasm. Um, I definitely think I'll play this on my own, if not uh, if not for more videos. But um, we'll see where that takes us. Thanks for watching. Again, let me know in the comments what you thought. Um, remember to subscribe for more videos. I will see you next video. All right, gamers, remember to like, subscribe, and smash that bell, frog. What are you doing in my house? I, I, I would just get out. Ah!